Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hip Tesla. Welcome to episode one of uh, Resident Evil, whatever the way he says it, Revelations. It's Revelations. Personally, I find this the weakest of all Resident Evil games. It made me laugh a lot, which is totally the opposite effect I came to Resident Evil game for. But, you know, it's better than nothing, I guess. You know, I still can't say... I still can't say it didn't leave any impression on me. It left, left quite an impression. I, I, I had to ask many times why and how and why. But we'll get to that as it goes. For starters, hello and welcome everyone in chat. Hi, Gamut. Hi, Lubka. Sash. <laughs> well, I got guess I gotta touch on that. So you know, we ended the last stream a little, a little on a on a sad note. Our neighbor has passed away, and uh, she's uh, she only lived with her son, and he's only twenty one. So he came he came over here to tell us, you know, I guess for guidance. And God knows, I don't want to think what it's like to be in in his situation, but. Uh, I can't just like start today and ignore what happened yesterday. So, in case you were wondering why I had to rush off like that, yeah, it was that. Not a good thing, but you know, the show must go on for the rest of us. And <laughs> Gambit agrees, yeah. From Matt to, you know, it's a, it's we gotta we gotta flip this mood upside down. So, this is. This is a really good game to do that. You, I tried some testing beforehand. Maybe the mic is a little too loud, huh? Maybe it could go a little lower. Or is this... I don't know. It's hard to... It's hard. The game has a very weird... Uh, what's it called? Uh, dynamic range for audio. So... Man, I tried doing something, but I can't tell. You know, it also depends what you're listening on. Of course, it depends if you're listening on headphones or PC, speakers, TV, laptop, phone, whatever. Oh, geez, that actually... I thought someone was something was walking across the screen looking at that with the corner of my eye. But yeah, uh, it's just... I, I did something. I don't know. I, I, I should be louder today. If I'm too loud, just tell me, Hey, Hippie, you're, you're too loud for fuck's sake. Yeah, well, well, thank you, love. That was that was quick and easy, but yeah. Oh, Mike. Oh, damn. I forgot to mention Mother. Hello, Mother of Hippie. Hello, Mayo. The silhouette is scary. Well, that's about the only thing, scary thing. It's not really. It's supposed to be a horror game. I'm not going to lie. It's like, oh, it's not scary at all. There are jump scares, but they're kind of drowned in silliness. You know, that's what... If it without the silliness, it might have been a game I can go for, you know, seriously. But now I'm I play this only once year or two ago and i left my ass off a lot like i said i had too many why questions <laughs> how <laughs> who wrote this shit but you know all right mayo also agrees okay i thought because a lot of people praise this game oh it's a big return to survival horror no it's not it's survival maybe horror maybe but you all forget to to mention the comedy part so it's more like survival horror comedy just goofiness with goofy ass characters and Man, I remember when I, I remember the first time playing Outbreak and be like, why the fuck did they talk like that? I thought that's the silliest Resident Evil would ever get. But comparison to this, to some of the things we'll see here, like the ad, even the, the just out of context ad libs of Outbreak are a fucking masterpiece of acting and just delivery. <laughs> because we'll get to that. Just, I can't. Anime hazard, yeah. All right. A little encouragement there from you guys, Mayo and Gamma. Thank you. I guess um, audio, everything set up. I just confirm. I always like to confirm. What's what? Yeah, that doesn't matter. We want subtitles. That's really good. The brightness is perfect. Can't get any better. One to one. Yeah, that's all. All right. Um, one to one. What is it called? Limited. HDMI range so we can have the deep blacks and the well yeah mostly the blacker than black what they call when you have that instead of the full RGB so I, I don't know I like it more for games so this is it Wii U game wasn't it like a 3DS game or something like it looks like it was made for a Game Boy honestly yeah floating Spencer Mansion yeah like I said there it's not all bad but it's just the silliness prevails my memory of this is just the, the amounts of silliness and then 
some threads they try to connect and some behaviors and some fucking outfit let's get into it yeah it's better better show than tell really <laughs> it wasn't 3ds all right we're going new game not new game plus we're doing like the first ever channel marathon whatever so uh default new game not plus yes and let's get into it let me know if you want me to boost the game volume a little once they start talking it'll make more sense normal the normal is normal for one year Wow, impressive for a mobile system, for like handheld system, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I guess it's a step up from Gaiden. Hey, wait, that's, that's here, that's us, ish. Jill. It's okay. You, you, you can hear it. Yeah, okay. So, oh. hey, Jill. Come here, Jill. I should probably mention, yeah, the Jill here is voiced by, uh, oh, what's her name? Not Julie Magdalena, but basically the voice actress that voiced Cindy in Outbreak File 2. Julie Magdalena was in Outbreak 1, but I forgot what's the name of the lady who voiced voiced Cindy in Outbreak File 2, and that's the same one that voices Jill here. Uh, Parker? I think it's Parker, just because I heard it so many times. Parker, Parker, Parker. It's like they're parking at him. <laughs> Alright, I, I will be shot for that joke afterwards. <laughs> Looks better on Wii U than on Switch. Anyway, is Wii U stronger than the Switch? Like, you know, overall, just like ever on average? Four minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates... Puts yeah, Cindy from File 2 specifically. The one that laughs as if she's laughing at a small penis. Or like, she doesn't laugh. She says, I'm sorry. That's her. That's what I'll know that actress for <laughs> forever for that I'm sorry I didn't know it was so bad for you <laughs> let me let me let me hear uh... you want to use some ammo well we'll see jeez all right it looks looks loud enough I think I made it loud enough I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a better, you know, overall higher audio on my streams without compressing the dynamic range because, well, what's the point if everything's loud, you know? We gotta have quiet moments. Are we gonna whisper? You? Whenever I'm taking in, taking a breath. What is it? Hey. I don't like the sound of that. Why? Why? What's the, what's the, what's the bell? She wasn't even in Resident Evil 4 where there was a thing. Where is it? One of these buttons got, gotta be the knife. Oh, just like... No. I'm not gonna waste bullets on it, so... Well, you know what? Why not? Nope. Doesn't even ring. <laughs> why Why wouldn't you like it then? It does nothing. She doesn't have any additional gear. We get that later. I, what I do like is... And I wish they used this more. The, I, I know this was in RE2 on the N64 and here. I don't think it was anywhere else. But you don't press a special button to run. It's... How far you push the analog stick is how fast they'll go. Granted, their sprint run here looks like a light jog at best, but you know, it's like it's very good not having to press a button to run. Especially, you know, some games put these run buttons on the on the shoulder buttons, <laughs> run command on the shoulder buttons, and that's the preferred way if you're gonna put a button. If you're gonna make me press A to run while I'm using the left stick and then right stick to aim, it's just so much work. Graphics unit is stronger in the Wii U. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, so it's a mixed bag. Michelle Ruff. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, Gavin. Same with me, man. And I, was like, I was like, really? Oh, why not knife it off? There you go. Since I already wasted the bullet there. Is that George? Can we verify that, please? That would be amazing. I did not know about that. 
<laughs> Dear Joe, I mean Parker. <laughs> Speak to me, Parker. Say stupid shit. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Do it to me. Say something dumb. Please. Ah, uh, he doesn't want to talk now. <laughs> oh, gee. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. Wait, George, are you sure, Mayo? Because that's going to explode my mind right now, right here on this stream for everyone. My brain's going to erupt to the top of my head. Harry Mason from Shattered Memories. Is George... Wait, I got to hear that in my head. Can you imagine George yelling, Cheryl? I mean, is he... Well, because that would be too... Huh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Brain eruption in a few seconds. What did she say? It's been dead for a while. Well, it used to have feelings, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe it was a total bastard. All right. We have a mini map. I love the mini map. See, that's like I'm saying. I'm saying positive things. I don't want to start off like by bashing on this game. It's got good things, and some of them are mini map. Wait, but shouldn't I have? I do I remember this properly? You feel? Do you have superpowers? Does he have superpowers? Oh. Well, whatever it is, we're not going to chase after it. Kevin, wait, really? Is Parker really? I gotta listen for that. Well, let's chase after the scary vent thing. Saving. All right. A. There's blood coming from the ducks. There. So they're all becoming chargers from. Kirk Thornton. Yeah, really, Kirk Thornton. That's. Huh. There you go. Wow. wow. That is. Yeah, Kirk Thornton is Kevin. I I remember that much. No power, which means no elevator yeah. for us. No, Kurt Thornton is definitely Kevin. I remember that much. What do you mean? Patrick is Kurt Thornton. Yeah, from the Shattered Memories, Dan Fermi. But he must be... Wait, is he Kevin or George? Now I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Nah, I, I'm pretty sure Kevin is one of the characters that didn't change the voice actor between the games, right? It's the same guy in the first... in both games. Be, because it's hard to know this these things, guys. Honestly, I know because... <laughs> <laughs> There's so much conflicting conflicting data regarding some games and Outbreak. When I say some games, I mean Outbreak. Um, regarding, you know, who wrote it, Kevin. who released it. Yeah, it's got to be Kevin, Kirk Thornton. I remember him it's because it's in the, in the credits at the end. Jeez. So we're just gonna run around and yeah, I remember this part. Expecting a, expecting a big uh, research, like exploration part, but it's just these are all false corners on the map. Maybe something in the lockers, but you know, it always leads to the same place. Oh, even the smashed one can be open. There you go. Hello, the Cameron. Second RE game after RE4. <laughs> to bash it on Reddit. Well, we don't bash it on Reddit. There, when there's silliness, there's silliness. <laughs> well, now. Alright. Can you send that to me on... Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you send it to me on Discord, please? Short it out. Wait, I remember. That's all from later, right? The power still works here. Yeah, because he's gonna jump. He's gonna do the lost thing, uh, you know, with previously on Lost and uh, well, I mean, Resident Evil Revelations. But it's also gonna be like flash forward and flashback. I can't make out this picture. I do like also that you can explore. You actually have the explore command, which is something that RE2 and RE3 remakes completely removed. Well, 
fair to be fair re7 started it but you know that game worked kind of different so i didn't mind but when i played re2 remake i was like i can't explore anything that the game you know doesn't that, that's not like a key item or something but here you know there are several things that just just observations you know that's that's something that's been the core of re since the start and oh there we go the ship's register for some See the the little the little details that uh, that add to the depth. Wiki has even mixed up file one and file two. Yeah, yeah, I do know that it's. Um, I do know that, uh, like I said, there's a lot of conflicting information, because <laughs> I'm looking at three different sites and they all say different voice voice actors for everyone. But we all agree, so so definitely, uh, Cindy. Cindy Lennox is the same voice actress as Jill here, and I think in another game. And um, so you say it's George is Kirk Thornton. Hmm. But then Harry Mason, because Cheryl. God damn it, now I gotta go back to Shattered Memories to verify, like to, with my own ears. Constantly worried about Jill. Jill's butt. Yeah, you gotta keep an eye on the booty. I mean, they do set it in some. I remember in some uh, places, in some rooms, the camera goes like awkwardly, like this, something like this. Like, what are you trying to tell me, game? Just smack me in the eye with it already. Um, especially Jessica with her lack of. But let's not get ahead of ourselves with her fashion choice. <laughs> Hello. Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. All right. See, that's that's description. I think I know where I am. Oh, that's the last thing I'll look at, of course, because... Take a look at this. Take a look at what? You want to trick me into starting a cutscene? No way. I'm not doing it. I want to touch things. Let me touch things. I'm an inspector of law or something. They say that George is Bob Buckles and Kyle Mac... The Dunes guy in... Guy. Wait, really? No. Wait, really? I swear. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, Chun Li. That's right. That's right. Well, I don't know which Street Fighter, but I know she was. Maybe in Capcom versus. I don't know. Capcom versus. What is it called? Marvel vs. Capcom, that thing. All right. You ready, George? Kevin? George? Gorge? Parker, give me a hand here. You guy. Sure, no problem. I'm trying to hear, yeah, it could be George. It sounds more like George. God knows if any of this is, like, real. Could be the same person just modifying their voice. <laughs> like, you, that's what I was looking for, the Metroid scanner. The, I got something. The visor gun. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. Oh, yeah, I have coffee. That's beautiful. Huh? Mm, wait, this is chocolatey. Nice, thank you, love. <coughs> so it's not Chris. Well, you can tell by the by the arm. Why? Because he would punch through it. There we go. Surprise butt attack. No, he he went above that. We just shoot it until it dies, right? I think. Stay back! I don't want to fight you. I have my Metroid visor. I'll use it on you. I always had a I had an issue with this game's sensitivity for aim. Like, why is it so weird? I'm trying to aim, but it's either too fast or too slow. All right, he's dead. Okay, so it's not the same actor for George One and Two, because that would be amazing. Georgie, <laughs> George, 
I didn't see the 2017 version, but I did see uh, snippets, I guess. <laughs> or maybe it was the trailer, who knows. 2017 was far away. Far away? A long time ago. Episode 1, Into the Depths. Oh, poo, yeah, yeah, there you go. Imagine Jill saying that, that's like... Very hard to imagine her in that mood. Unless she's talking to like a niece or something. This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. I should really mute that, crying out loud. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis. The Aquapolis, the un in other words, it's just like a, a money pit. Operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. And I'm already like, what? energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But in 2004, give us the snippets, please. A terrorist group opposing the city's development launched a bioterrorist attack. Bioterrorist. True. Yeah, I mean, the hunters. You ruined the hunters. Well, you know, they're still better than RE3 remake hunters. Launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. Because the world was looking for some the reason. FBC, the world's leading counter bioterror organization, operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in. No, oh, he's just experienced. The, attack. I mean, I the BSAA, a counter bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went. Well, that's a really bad moment to, to you know, FBC. really bad clip of him. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the terror rush hour panic. gamut. It could also be rush hour. Following the incident, a lot the of mistakes are made that way. It has successfully disbanded the terror. I'd like to know the called definitive truth someday. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. Because RE4 is coming out? But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible. So they hammer out Dawn bit. Silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. I swear they took a lot of concepts from Gears of War uh, between, you know, RE4 and RE5. They were like, this is good shit, like, they copied us, let's copy off of them. Oh, a lot happened. Welcome to the chat stream, Rose, Rose Booba, Rose Boba. Ah, there you two are. O'Brien. Arbon. Stay Arbon. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. <laughs> ima, ima, ima. Yes, mo. Nicky. Hello, Delmar. Welcome to the stream, Delmar. What? What are they saying? It doesn't matter. Like it won't matter if I don't follow anything. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? Exposition time. Genesis. Thank you for the follow. You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? We're gonna read the manual. Yeah, we're gonna do the files in our regular Just in case. I hope you read way. quickly, because you're gonna need it on your mission. Yeah, I'm on it. He's gonna read the file. All right, he's got the file. See, it's already turning goofy. Like, why? I get, you know, they gotta have character, but it just goes over and above. Hvala, hvala. Oh, you were. I'm so sorry. I saw a bioterror, Delmar. So sorry if. Uh, yeah, I, I did not see that. I had no idea. Well, did what is it that I missed? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while, have I? <laughs> One off, Sash. He's one off. Walking comic reliefs. The the two main guys that are you know the comic reliefs. They're the ones that I'm like, 
Which game did you take them from? We'll get to them. Genesis manual version 1.0.9. Why the upgrade? Genesis. <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> the nickname of a high-level bioscanner. Bioscanner. Currently being tested and developed by the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. In further mentioned GPC. No, nope. better the original. <laughs> it bounces special synchrotron. Synchrotron radiation of a target in order to analyze it. Viral analysis. It is possible to detect and analyze even the smallest amount of viruses. Let's go with it. I mean, they are more technologically advanced than the real world, so why not? Just like... <laughs> Thank you, Gavit. If that's George, it's hard to tell. I'll have to keep listening. Yeah, I want to hear him talk more. Really, he should be the one reading the file. Oh, okay. Sorry, Delmar. So, okay. Yeah, I did respond to that, but I thought that was by... Because uh, it's very similar. I'm getting the same color for you to the camera on. And it's just like my brain went day and that's it. So, sorry about that. But I did see it. Hello, Zombie Chow. Welcome. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Good to see you, Zombie. Are you here? Are you here to laugh or cry, Zombie? Because we're going to do both, probably. Like I said, I did say before that, Delma, yeah, I was going to respond to that, but something else took my attention more thoroughly. But uh, those are all the good things that you listed about this game. But, you know, again, the goofiness, it's still, it's not bad, it's just out of place, you know. It's, <laughs> I, I, it's easier for me to look at that in Survivor that was made in, what, 2000 and be like, of course, you know, it's, <laughs> Winchant, <laughs> it's, it's, it wasn't different than, you know, the other things of its time. But then this. Yeah, he doesn't. That's why I'm confused by that. So, so far, Zombie Chow, we've established that Jill's voice actress is Cindy from File 2. And uh, Parker's voice actor seems to be George from both games, right? It was Kurt Thornton. I'm, man, I'm so used to Kurt Thornton being Kevin in my head that now it's so hard. The outbreak voices fuck up. Mayo has sent a link for a lore video or something. So yeah, we, we should. Re I want to see that. So Mayo, please send it on my Discord and video games um, channel. So you know I'll have to check that out. And whoever wants else wants to do it, well there you go. There, there it's gonna be there. So where, where were we? Vaccine manufacturing. Since version 1.0.4, it has been possible to produce simple vaccines from the viral analysis data. They just won in this universe. How did we even get to Resident Evil 7 or 8 with, if they have this? Detection. Using synchrotron radiation, it is possible to detect specific objects. The data for bullets, medicinal herbs, etc. are registered within the internal memory for testing. This, I swear this concept was totally taken from Metroid Prime. The, the, the first thing I think of when I, when I fired this bad boy up, it's like Metroid Prime. I'm scanning shit around. If a detectable object is nearby, the indicator in the lower right area of the monitor will light up. Oh, is the audience going to have to see that? Oh, yeah, they'll, I think they'll be able to see it. All right, let's, let's scan the goop balls on the beach. Was there something here? I forgot what the collectibles are in this game. Can't escape, not even an option. You gotta, you, it's like RE1, you got you to gotta investigate. FBC, looks like someone already raided the place. FBC, down on the ground. No, BSAA, down on the ground. <laughs> it, it is a nice view. Yeah. Looking around, man. Who said that? Was it Brian? O'Brien? Hey, Brian. Yo, Brian. What's his name? O'Brien. Ah, look at this mess. Oh, they're rotted to hell. Yeah, let's step into it. Looks like a good idea. The outbreak connections alone have raised my interest a bit. Well, yeah, there was this, like, mash of... Uh, Personnel from Outbreak games that bled over into other games. We know that the RE6 um, director is Ichiro Sasaki, who also directed both Outbreak games, we're, which we're really grateful for, a lot of us. But, you know. Yeah, yeah, Mayo, if you can please send it on my, in my Discord server on the in the video games channel. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Skin so pale. I've never seen anything like it. The skin? I would say. Genesis to get a reading on it. Genesis? All right, we'll use the Genesis. <laughs> what was that, love? How, what if I don't? Terra Grigia Solar Tower. 
Mega float city. I'm reading like I'm in the first grade. Letters. Should I go? Because I feel like... If, ooh, a crow. It's, we got... Ah! Come back. I'll let you off this time. I could shoot you, but what's the point? Do they have anything on that? What was it? RB? Yeah. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
she has portrayed like especially after re5 and everything they're, they're going with now you know how she was traumatized and ashamed of her action and all that she doesn't seem that way here does she won't open it won't open something's jamming it maybe something's jamming inside they have inventory right what was it start no select yeah select okay He doesn't need ammo. I thought this is like a co-op game and we'll... Oh. Controls. Alright. Reload with X. There you go. Sub-weapon. Choose that. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be RB. But it's gonna be later. Switch with up-down. Uh, y is heal. That's right. So it's quick heal. Now this is something I gotta remember. 3D fish on the shore is really <laughs> 2D. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I I know what you meant. Like. Yeah, 3D. Yeah, T Phobos does make a little more sense, especially since you know it is one of the Wesker children that worked on it, and it covers a longer. Still not an amazing game, but I like it a little hell of a lot more than this one. You know, in terms of story, the mutated. Revenants turned into zombies when they died. Yeah, they did. 2D, 2D, yeah, I know. It's like pressed into the ground. It was a handheld system game. So forward or backwards with A, with right timing before the attack. Yeah, that's just something I want to master because these things are interesting to me, dodging and timing. Physical attacks. You can use a physical attack when you're near a staggering... Yeah, that'll just like, like in RE5, basically, or RE4. Hold it. You can hold it. That's good. I just got here, game. How do you think I got here if you're going to tell me that now? But no map yet. Like, press select to get to the screen you're right or you're on right now. What, if I pressed it by accident? Is that what, what they meant? I saw a movie once about zombie fish attacking fishermen. Wasn't pretty sight. Was it? Thanks for the fun, Tesla. Have a nice rest. Thank you for dropping by the camera and thank you so much. You have a great day. Oh, okay. All right. That's, I was like, well, Zombie Chow wrote what? But that's, no. That's, Mom says hi, Zombie. <laughs> Best resi ever. Yep. Wii U version has the map and inventory on the gamepad screen, just like the 3DS. Okay. I didn't know that because this is the only way I ever played it, but it makes a whole lot of sense. It was an interesting experience playing the game that way. Yeah. I was thinking about, what about porting Dragon Quest IX to anything, you know, modern, but you're there. Oh, shit, they're invulnerable now? Not even ammo. What kind of crows are this? They don't hold any ammo on them? Okay, why? Smell. Must have ruptured from gas. Did I scan it too hard? All right, let's Metroid this bitch. And by this bitch, I mean this beach. <laughs> That's all the ammo I can take, huh? 60. Why is that limited? You wouldn't think that. All right, sub-weapon, RB. All right. So you use it with RB. You don't hold RB for it, which is going to confuse me for a while. So RB. Why change controls with between games that play really similar? You know, what I never understood that part. Why do it? So the yellow thing is telling me there's something to scan in view, right? I think it's telling me there's something to scan nearby actually. Yeah, the yellow thing in the lower right corner. Let's try that. Oh, there you go, handprint. I never found all of those, but I want it. Yeah. Okay, we gotta go back to... No! Ooh, I thought it was gonna move me itself. Getting your analyze rate up to 100% will earn you a health recovery item. The rate you should receive will go down if you analyze enemies of the same kind. How do I even affect that? I mean... Where is he talking from? You can hear us this whole time. He's got super hearing and super whisper. Somehow.
Well, that was a bonus one, I guess. <laughs> they never explain, you know, they said so much about viral analysis, but they never explain how in the hell do you get an item from that. Does it, does it materialize? Wait, that means there's something else to scan, is there? Yeah, there's something there. Item found. There you go. I know it means something, the yellow dot. Handgun ammo, alright. Okay, there's nothing else left. There you go. Because that means there's something nearby to find. An item. An item specifically. Specific item to find. Yeah. What about over there? Was I there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was. I don't need... Mm. I don't think there's anything of importance, but... Just so I I can say, you know, I try. There's a little alcove here that I remember. Right at the bottom, right? Yeah. And in it... What was in it? An item. Green herb, alright? It was worth it. The game's chilling out for now. Teaching me how to do shit. Before it goes... See, I gotta do that. That little thing in the lower right, the yellow thing. Why wouldn't it be on the entire time on the screen? Why would I have to do this every few seconds? This is tedious. I remember that was like really... I want 100% it, but at the same time, I don't want to stop every few seconds and go like, Oh, is there something here? Just blink at the bottom of the screen, you know, and I'll know it. I found it! Yeah. <laughs> Target not found. Look, it's big target. Alright, let's move backwards. No, don't help us, sir. It's all good. Car Carter, I mean Parker. St stop fooling around, man. In the mouth. You gotta shoot him in the mouth. That's fine. Run, Carter. I mean Parker. I don't know, inside it, somehow. How do I hear you, man? Oh. Fuck you, you come here. Apparently you have superpowers. Why don't you come over here and get it? I should, you know, tell my boss. Make me. <laughs> he might scream real hard and just blow us away. They do look a little like giant sea lions, do they? There you are. I guess he said, is that the sample? No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. And I bet it's no coincidence they came through the FPC's blockade. Well, we did all we can. Now, we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Huh? Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's me. Uh huh. What? You forgot milk? Yes, that's fine. What? I'll take it from here. No shit. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Good. Get to it. Get to it. Come on. Yill, Parker. Yill. You are still on the case. What happened? We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. With Jess and Chrisica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. Why is he so underacting? I am speaking to you. Was lost over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be on a ship. <gasps> Go back to HQ. Take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. Come on, Jill. Let's get going. Come on. We have to raid the ship. We have a ship to raid. Whatever the way you want to say it. <laughs> oh, look at that giant penis in the distance. That look, looks like a sinking middle finger, honestly. I get it, game. I get it. I get everything. They do. 96%. Where did the other 4% go? I guess I missed it a few times. 
Saving after a scene or episode is optional, but saving often is recommended. Why wouldn't I save after every scene? What hur What kind of hurry can I be in? There you go, last year. I'm gonna start with... Fuck it. With, yeah. I'm gonna overwrite this anyway, so this is my... This is my data. Then back, then continue. This is episode 1-1 one, one or whatever. One. Something like that. We go back to there. You go, Queen Zenobia, 6:20 p.m. Oh wait. These things got to Chris and Jessica. We're back to the beginning. See, that's why it's like lost. It's jumping back and forward, trying to have a deep story. No one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. It's a door. I'll check it out. Oh, uh, you'll scan first, the young lady. Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. This thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach. It's most what I'll be doing throughout the game. I didn't look for more fingerprints. I mean, handprints, but... Maybe I should have. Back on the beach, I mean. So there's a lot of ammo here that I can't take. Which way did they want me to go? Go back or go forward? What if I try to go forward? Oh, you can go forward. All right. Wait, did it want me to go back or forward? I I don't know. I'm sure it didn't want to want me to go. Where are you? Oh, there he is. I thought he disappeared. Christ, these things. I think what I did was I went back to scan. Yeah, that's right. When you give me a game with scanning ability, damn right I'm gonna use it. As much of it as I can. There's another handprint. Oh, I didn't see how many. Damn it. This was dead. Handgun ammo we don't need. Anything else? Nope. Nothing here. I don't think anything respawns in the lockers, I think. I think, I think. Nope. Even though the enemies may respawn. Looking for handprints is another thing. You can't scan this guy though, he's unscannable. Should I go like this? Shh. Oh, wait, there's actually something here, huh? Where? It could see this, it could be anywhere around me. It could be above me, in another room. It could be below me, in another room. Now I'm supposed to like, guess it disappears here. It starts here, so... This is the third one I can think of. Gamut. So there's Gaiden. There's... Um, Dead Aim. And now there's this one. Not counting the ending of RE5, which is... On a ship, but you know, the game's not set on a ship, so... Oh, there it is. Whatever it is, it's over there. I found an item in a room I can't even get to. And now, this is how we play Revelations. If you don't know it off the top of your head, and you want to have all the shit you can, this is how you're going to do it. If anybody knows a better way, please do share it. As great of a concept it is, it just kind of, you know, ruins the immersion. I'm either scared or I'm exploring. Yeah. Yeah, RE7 also has a section, but let's say most of the games set on a ship, that would be Gaiden, Dead Aim, and this one. 
That's it, nothing else, alright? Good luck if you want to find all the handprints, unless, again, for people who know where they are, I'm sure it's just like, oh, it's there. But if you want to find it, it could be like, you pass this whole hallway, but it could be on this side of the thing you're looking at. Though I do think they, uh, they should pop in as, you know, a lock-on or something, right? No survival horror, only evil. <laughs> evil. See, there's more. Oh, that's not. Oh, there we go. Oh, where's the other thing I can see? Oh. Well, this is gonna be outside. Okay, fair enough. Now, if these items you locate would pop up on the map, I would love that, because it would make a lot of sense, you know. You have a mini map on in your PDA, apparently, so why not use it for this? Show me where the items are on the map. They could have done it like Jim in Outbreak. You get question marks until you check what the item is, then it shows you what it is. For me, at least, it would have made exploration a lot more fun because then I can run back, you know, run past, and be like, I don't want that, or I do want that, but like as as is, you gotta memorize where's what if you want to pick it up later. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that too, Gamut. I think there was a handprint on one of these, but do I even wanna? I'm going for the story. I'm not going for hundred percent, definitely. So. I'm gonna try not to overdo it with scanning, I just do it, you know, as much as I enjoy doing it. Which is not a whole lot in this setting, but, you know, still. Whatever. <laughs> there you go, zombie. <laughs> I am playing the story, zombie. Look, I'm scanning. I'm an inspector of goo. I'm inspecting for goo. BSAA, Bullshit Artist Alliance, please, surrender your goo. <laughs> Uh, wait, uh, we are BSA, are we? Or are we FDC? We're... See? I can't even keep up. Uh, I'm gonna say we're BSA. Jill was BSA. This is before the events of RE5, right? 2005? When was it when they got finally cornered Spencer? Can't remember which year what, what, what happened. And we just read all those files in RE5 for nothing. Parker's still here. Look at him. Look at him exploring. He doesn't give a shit. He's just doing the same thing all over. He's not even moving from the room. He's just looking at it. Barry would have explored better, Parker. Yeah, Joe, we had a lot of podcasting. There's a lot of opinion on this game. <laughs> Left and right. How you doing, man? Good morning. Uh, we podcasted for like... 30 minutes first. Well, I did. But yeah, everyone else was in on it. So which door was it? I think I want to go this door first, right? Yeah. Because the other door is the door of death. Or is it? <laughs> is that going to interrupt it? No. I can tell by the boulder punching arm. Check the floor near Parker? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. You're the master of unlocking. Yeah, let's find it. Uh, the blob cast. Be careful. But I don't want to go there yet, do I? I want to explore more. See if you can find a key. In your area, all right. I don't see anything on the floor around them, zombie. Wait. Oh, the blob. The blobbiness, all right. We got an herb. Hooray. I'm the explorer of the world. Biocast. <laughs> Biocast. <laughs> what do you mean, zombie? I don't see anything. 
stick on maybe it's on this side no don't be a girly man <laughs> Jill don't be a girly man you have to scan harder Jill oh wait there is something here I was just dicking around but where 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 is it where is it why is it so zoomed in? Why can't I zoom out and just survey the area better? This is... Why? Decisions. Oh, there it is. It's underneath me. There you go. A whole floor below. Do we want to go? We want to go up. That's right. Green herb. Looks like a dead end. Well, I argue she could go down with her action skills, just this one one floor, but sure. She doesn't want to. Who am I to make her? Metal shit on the floor. Well, yeah, this is the third. So this isn't the very beginning, zombie, if you mean that. We passed the beach area. I remember there was one here somewhere, wasn't there? No. But there's still something around. Up and down, all around, where could you be? Aha! Again through the wall. I wish it really showed me on the map where they are. Like, who's gonna remember this now? Every fucking step of the way. Oh, it does love. It, I, I bet it does. There's one of them we found earlier. Alright. But there's nothing here to explore, is there? I'm gonna comment on anything. I'm pretty sure they're m missing one more handprint. We found that through the wall as well. It's all five handgun ammo. Five by five. Who sounds like an enemy? I think they're gonna be here. In the pooper? Quickly, where they're not looking. Oh, this one's crashed. You can't do a shit to it. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, we're going to start spending a little now, but I do want to scan it first. And I have 30 herbs, so should be good. There you go. Here we go, the weird aim. Just be slow or fast, pick one. Whoa. It's not X, it's A. Why would you say X is reload? Did I change something? Alright, here we go. We can pick up an item. And it's unscannable once you scan it. There's nothing more to learn from it. Jeez. Man, that's that's lo that's louder than I remember. Or at least if you can hear it now. Thank you, Sash. Thank you, my love. Wait, does it close it? Yeah, it closes right away. Aha! Uh -huh. Item investigator. Put them up, your items. Five more handgun rounds. I think there was a hand on one of these. Was there? Imagine playing like this the entire time. <laughs> Pretending you're... Hunk or something. Hello? Anybody around? Do you have any items? There we go. There we go. Just easy. I just want your items. Thank you. It's like a... <clears throat> these opening animations are like opening a chest in Zelda or something. But I like where it's a very rare occurrence there that you open a chest and there's nothing in it. And it's, you know, in a few very special places throughout the series. 
This is like most of them are empty. I don't even know which one I opened. I guess that's all of them. That's all here. Wasn't there a document? No. Yeah, there's a document. This place is a mess. No, not even a document, just mess. You can snoop around. Mostly. It's like there's something there, but there's nothing there. That's that's breathing sounds, by the way. <laughs> if if it doesn't make sense, there's a cabin and more. Where did I come from? Didn't I didn't come from here, did I? There's an anchor mark on the door. There you go. That's what rem that's what reminds people of classic Resident Evil and why. Some people say, oh, it's a return to classic Resident Evil. Well, it really isn't. It's it's just in disguise. It's pretending to be classic Resident Evil, but it's got very little in common with it. It's got Jill Valentine. It's got map, kinda. Well, you can still see the map, can't you? Yeah, it's a 3D map. I'll give him that. I liked when games do that and not, you know... Again, Metroid Prime. We're back to Metroid Prime. Because that's... That game had the best 3D map ever. This one's... Okay, it serves the purpose, you know. Sometimes a little distracting, like confusing when you're switching floors. They're not going to be in order, I remember later, but you know, it. I can tell what's what approximately, you know. It's not very detailed. Where are all the handprints? Why didn't you people print it all in a row? Bullshit Artist Alliance. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that part's coming. All right, let's do it. What was my heal button? That was a Y, and I have four herbs. I'll be okay. Can't scan through the window. God forbid. Goodbye, whatever your name was. Item found. Are they eating her? Yeah, they don't even... They don't care about me right now. Yeah, Delmar. RE7 was best possible transition between classic RE and modern RE game. Yeah, I agree. Sasha does too, as we can see. It's just, you know... It, was, it had elements of both, but still... I You had to be on your toes. Your, your enemies were smart. What they, you know... Kind of like the Ganados. There were fewer of them, but they were way smarter than the Ganados. And I gotta say, Jack Baker gave me a few scares. That's the last time in a while I remember an RE game giving me a scare. It was Seven and Jack. Just like, try, even trying to outsmart him, he can turn it against you. I like that. That the game takes into account that you're learning. So if you're, you're, if you're learning and getting better, it tries to one-up you. So you're not safe, you know, the first few playthroughs. Can I get closer to that one? There you go. Don't even have to trigger them. And I'll start shooting from way here. Damn, it's like I'm drunk with this same. Oops. And then, can they follow? I don't, I, I don't think they can follow through some doors. They can through some, but not through all. Yeah. And then, what is this? There's going to be a guy there, isn't there? I remember using a machine gun, I think. No? But no, look. They just come back. And you can go back in. Whoa. Are you scared? Are you scared? I can do this. How m you just need patience in this game. You don't need much. Just patience. The other guy isn't even getting up. He's not even bothering to get up. He's like, fuck it. My brother can take it all. Oh my god, the same. Now, since there's only one of them left, I think we can play... We can play around the table, right? 
Yeah. I think I can punch him when I do that, right? He melted. I found a survivor. The BOW's got her though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. Well not really, I'm just gonna explore the room first. Priorities, Jill. Priorities. I mean yield. Sounds like it's still scary, but it's not. <clears throat> By what, Lyubka? What reminds you of Silent Hill? That's that's a new. I'm interested. Oh, there's a handprint. There we go. All right. Uh, can I take the ammo first? Oh yeah, that's very nice of the game. Okay, so full ammo again. What's my risk here? And I already unlocked like hundred bullets back there. As I have to run, I'll just have bullets along the way. What exactly am I risking? Cool quarters area key. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I see that. I can see that. Yeah. I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Let's try it out. I'll meet you under Chris's room. See you there. Under Chris's room? Wait, under? She doesn't look like one one of the crew. She could be from another organization. So there's like, there's tense music, but nothing's happening. I'm gonna get out there, you know, stuff's gonna happen, I guess, but... Okay, let's reload. Is it 30 bullets all she can carry? Because she could carry 60 before, no, remember? I won't. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought they started talking from boredom. I'm over-analyzing, let's get out of here. Wait, there were no files. I kind of remember reading files. Am I crazy? Shouldn't there have been any files by now? Nothing? Like, look at all this paperwork. Why isn't this... Why can't we read this? This on the floor? No, nothing interesting. Nothing to tell you anything about this. The you know the most important thing is she, her blouse or whatever is unzipped. That's we had to catch that detail. Nothing to read. That's just sad. Okay. There was gonna be something here. I remember. Yeah, there it is. Let, let me scan you first. It's crucial for my investigation. What was up with the camera there? Oh, no, no, it doesn't work. I tried to melee it. I wanted to see if it's gonna work. Ah, stop licking me! I forgot how to get to the melee point. That's what I'm trying to do. My drunken mail, come on. No, he melts. Oh, I didn't get to melee him. Hand. Okay, thank you, Mayo. Thank you. What would I do without you? Mayo jumping in with the, with the info rescue. That's right. I know something is critical, so it's not their face. It's their hand. We're going a little... We're due to detouring a little into the dead space area. I think there's another guy up there waiting to eat my butt. Which can be taken quite literally in this game. Oh no. Maybe I'm wrong. The music sound makes it sound like there's someone gonna end enter. I still didn't see how many prints I got. It's the charger arm, isn't it? Was it here? Crew quarters, right? Can I see the key though? Yeah, you can see things. There you go. Three out of 30. So you really gotta start over with that. Eh, I don't think I'll find all 30. Who cares? I do care a little, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, I doubt we're gonna find them. Yeah, I remember the charge melee being really strong. So that's what I wanna do. Shoot it in the arm, then like hold it until it's super risky and then release. Lipka had a great time. That's good. That's good. Key used in the crew quarters area. That's it, I think, right? Wait, but he said meet up under... No, it doesn't matter. 
Because this is, yeah, I'm going to restock here. There's going to be a grenade. Just one grenade so far. Man, the, the, how, how zoomed in can this be? Look. Was there anything else? I think there was. Faster, Jill. I mean, yield. Alright, arm, right? Shit. It either moves too fast or too slow. Why, why do I have difficulties with this aim? God damn it. I feel like she had a few too many before the mission. There we go. Nope. Where's my prompt? I really want to get that melee done. Wasn't it behind or something? Yeah, I think it's from behind, actually. I want to melee you. Stop it. No, just disappointing. Disappointing. Bioscan. Chew. Hand grenade. We're full already. Nice. Should I use that herb? Nah, I'll be back here, I'm pretty sure. Right? Think so? Fuck it. Heal. Why wouldn't I? That's it. No handprints on a washing machine. On these things. What was it? Scary. Look through the green visor. Woo. I feel like I'm playing a weird version of Phasmophobia. Hello, Cutter, <laughs> fellow humanoid. <laughs> abominations of science. Ab abominations of goofiness in this game, man. Come, take, pick, you know, pull up a chair and pick up a chair, even if you want, and just laugh with us. They're gonna go boo again, are they? I remember the boo moment here. Was it here? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's one behind me too, isn't there? Is it this? Is this it? I forget how to melee. Jesus Christ. It was, shouldn't there be like hold A or something? He's dead. Yo, hipster sup. <laughs> Three handgun ammo. Two handgun ammo. One handgun ammo. There's going to be one here. Oh, I should really, I should remember to scan, too. Because I need my free herb. That's like a free herb in reserve now. Is it the, maybe I should, should shoot the little arm. This way, sir. Sir. Look, oh my god, with the aim. How are you supposed to be precise with this? I forgive you, RE5. I forgive you. I forgive you everything. Shiny, useful, awesome, awfully huge toy. What is it? What is it? Is it something for cooking? Is it like a cooking tool? I kind of remember one of these having a ha handprint on the inside. Which made a lot of sense. Maybe it's another shower. Like someone was, help me. Reloaded. Nothing's going to be in there. Oh, wow, another one. Should I start with the butt or the head? Come on, drunken Jill. What the hell? I just knifed him. I, that's not what I, I want to. I want to do a charge melee. Woohoo! Charge melee? Aww. Well, 
I guess we'll get to that. It'll happen at some point and then... Oh yeah, inventory full. Alright, can I heal more? Nope. Alright. So I got a spare herb waiting for me. Whenever I use the one I already have. There's more bullets here. All that shit I scanned before, you know, you know it's, it's gonna be useful now. I could go back for more bullets, but we're gonna have plenty of bullets. Can't quick turn while doing this, so you gotta let go, go back into it. Why? <laughs> Why these weird decisions? Why can't the yellow thing always beep, even when I'm not looking? Because I should know when my thing beeps, when there's, you know, items around. Why do I have to look through it to be, be aware of that? If you wanted to make a useful tool, why not make it useful? But I think that's what you are, Jesus Christ, Parker. We gotta help Chris. We gotta help Chrissy. Do I have... Is that the crew quarters key, I guess? Alright. Silenus and Suze. Chris. Chris? Oh no, his head. He punched his own head off. I always knew you were like a mannequin, Chris. Why would it fall when he touches him? What mechanism is that? Great. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> I'm coughing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I said that we're gonna have a good time with this game. I said that, and by God, I'm gonna deliver. If the game isn't, I'm gonna. It's time you learned the truth, Miss Valentine. Th like playing this, I remember thinking, what is Resident Evil anyway nowadays, you know? Episode 1, Into the Deaths. And, in case you'd missed that, we finished the episode. <laughs> in the game, not in the stream. Ass! I got ass! Alright, I'm used to getting ass. I don't expect high accuracy in this game, Joe, if you're following. Like with this drunken aim, oh gee. My total is ass. I mean S. I had one A there. That's disappointing almost. I do like the music though. Boom 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 boom. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Lost contact. Well, that's interesting. Jessica. That is hell interesting. The signal was lost over the ocean. Queen Zenobia. Queen Zenobia, yes, Womrop. Right. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. I think it's a gun. Oh, this, these are like FMVs, actually, not in, in engine, so it could run, you know, fast and smooth while changing areas. So it would look cinematic. It's an episodic game, I forgot to mention that, did I? It's an episodic game, so... Yeah, I did actually said it's... It's, it's doing a lot of Lost... Previously, on Lost. <laughs> I'm so used to that... To that voice, but yeah. Double mystery. <laughs> Prepare for trouble. <laughs> Make it double. <laughs> oh boy. I gotta Google that later, Carter. Mountains in Europe, because Europe is like, pff, it's, you know, it's the size of Delaware, I guess. Why this, <laughs> mountains in America, right? Not, mountains in Asia, it doesn't matter where, somewhere, mount, why not just write at this point mountains on Earth? Down, mountains Chris. in the solar system, who cares where? Here we go, here we go, the, the, the silliness intensifies. The, yeah, the preservation method. Maybe it's the weather, but I still can't make contact with HQ. Look what she be stuck out here brought with so her. Long. How long? So she, she, I think she's the number one. I can't tell if, if her or the two goofuses we're about to meet are the silliest thing in this game, but... Why are you moving? Why? You know, you know I want it. Come on. Come on. Stop moving. I just want... Uh, ah... 
She knows. <laughs> she knows. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. First and only cookbook. For someone who cooks so much, I'm actually surprised by that. So this is Chris Redfield, everyone. We can't turn the camera around us to see, but you can see he has a BSAA winter getup with his fucking elbows and forearms bare in the snow. But, you know, it's Chris, man. He, he, he lived through fucking lava, uh, through an active volcano fighting, uh, fighting Wesker. Or did he? That's, that, that's just to come. So this is how he toughened him, him, himself up, you know. If you, if you didn't see the ending of RE5, it ends in an active volcano where Chris and uh, Wesker actually settled their disputes by Wesker being, you know, not even killed by a volcano. God, no. It, yeah, yeah, killed by, what, like double rocket launchers, something like that. I already forgot. That's how much this of this sticks with me. And, uh, yeah, I was going to, uh, I was going to say, I was going to get to that. So right now she's actually... You could say she's dressed well, except for, what do you call that, the, the tights, I guess, the, that type of uh, leg outfit. It feels like it's a little cold, but what do I know? Maybe it's like Metal Gear Solid technology, and she's not actually cold in that. But Chris's naked forearms just make no fucking sense, you know. Why? Leggings, leggings, that's, yeah, that's what I meant, man. Leggings. Leggings look, it looks like she's going for a fucking concert on Saturday evening. No, not even a concert, like going out for a bar. A little cozy cat, little cozy shoes with little cozy things around them. She's a model, she's like a, a, a model. It's more of a model than a secret agent. Well, not secret, but agent, just like agent of government, justice, whatever. I don't know, it's, oh, I got, I, so he got the herb that she didn't. So he had 100% with Jill. As soon as I turned the scan on, because he had uh, room in his inventory, he got it. So he's got what? Do I have weapons? Shotgun and pistol. How do I change left, right? That's right. So I got the shotgun, I got the pistol. You can do the RE6 thing, yeah. And, well, RE5 and 6. It's going to be funnier with two weapons. I guess shotgun makes more sense, but why not? He's Chris goddamn Redfield. He can run naked in a snow blizzard. Who am I to complain? If you're in the mood for cooking, you can cook more than you would ever eat and then preserve it for times when you're lazy. Yeah, I noticed you do that. That really sounds... You know, we love preserves here, you know, like Turshia. So... I wonder... I always wonder what other, what other preserves exist in, you know, other countries. Jam, Ivar... Well, jam is the only one I can say. Chutney, I guess. Red pepper chutney. That's very popular here. It's called Ivar. You get something different. You know, red pepper isn't so impressive on its snow. On its snow. <laughs> on its snow. On its own, but... What? Yep, lost. There we go. We're, we're doing the lost. Do the lost. Oh Goodbye, mountains of Europe. Until we got on Veltro was on the money. Come on. On the money. On the money, he says. Well, preserves. Yeah, if you're a food... food. <laughs> what is wrong? With if you're a food lover, you know, it is. But, you know, we already know we're, we're food lovers here. All right. Metroid. Give me more Metroid evil. Resident Metroid. I don't think I'll find anything up until there. But this is what I'm talking about. I should be just doing this. No one, could have lived that. no one. But maybe something. Investigate the site. Let me know if you find anything. Let's use our Metroid scanners. No, I wanna run actually. Sorry, it's just my, my finger's stuck in doing this now. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. Ten handgun ammo. Nice. Fifty. So you already got a bigger bigger pocket than he does. Alright, thanks love. I guess we'll finish this off. Alright, that's uh, I thought that's chocolate, but it was coffee residue. Alright, we learned something from that. That is, be careful what you slurp. On handling the new prototype, 
There will be a new prototype introduced on this mission. All mission participants are urged to use extreme, extreme caution. 1. When handling the special prototype, all instructions by the handler must be followed to the letter. Unless we make spelling errors. Number 2. In the event of an emergency, follow the contingency guidelines in the Hazards and Emergencies Manual. Where is that? Can I have it now? 3. Once the prototype's abilities are ac have activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed sedative must be administered every hour during transport. 4. While it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. So we're back to square one where Umbrella start first started. Remember the uncontrollable bioweapons that are just like prototypes? So 10, ten years later, was this, this is way more than 10 years later, but let's say 8 years, 7 years after, you know, the initial outbreak in the Arkley Mansion. Let's, not, let's forget like all the 40 years of research and development. Was it 40? Maybe even more? We still can't control them, but you know, people want them. When control is no longer viable, please contact HQ on the dedicated line. I wish you'd tell me more, like, where is this dedicated line? Is it in the room with us now? Shotgun shells. Oh yeah. Let's check back here. You, one can never underscan. Some of it is... It's marked with a biohazard symbol. Ah, why would you open it? Hard to say. I find it difficult to believe they survived Terra Grigia, though. Why? No, I didn't get it anywhere from, you know, what we've seen so far that the, the terrorists were like, yeah, we're gonna die with this. We're just gonna kill ourselves here to prove something. Why would you... Where did that come from? Right? I don't think anyone mentioned so far they went down with the ship, so to speak, with Terra Grigia. Handgun ML. How much can you carry? 70? Yeah, we're gonna need it soon. I remember this part was annoying. This is where I first stopped playing the game in my first playthrough. I was bored. I was bored as hell. Yeah, the doofuses will be here later. This is where I need to be? No. Won't work without... A key! UK uses cans. Canning. The uses use pressure cookers, which is barely anyone does it here. In Germany, we got basically two different systems. One with glass slits and rubber bands. One with twist off lids. The twist off version is basically the. We use all of those, honestly. Well, cans just, you know, commercially, but. So, we use pressure cooking, but, you know, mostly for beans, I'm gonna say. At least in my family, like, pressure cooker was mostly used for beans because, man, it cooks them so well. Not for preservation. You can't preserve beans in this house, they just disappear. Um, glass lids and rubber bands, you know, when you, with glass lids, when you. When you when you heat up the the the, can, the lid, the glass jars, and then you, you know, you preserve it by putting shit in it, closing it tight, and it vacuums. And what was the other? the rubber band? Yeah, depending on what's in, what you're preserving. But we use all of those, I guess. You know, maybe we just use a lot of oh, maybe we just eat a lot of different foods. Who knows? He might have been Veltro. I'd better. Use the Genesis. Genesis? Alright, let's use the Genesis. Oh, it's just an item. Flight plan, there you go. The manifest should give us a lead to work with. Let's see. They were headed for Belcoin and Mock Airport. If that's where they are, this mine should take us there. I'm thinking, so yeah, with I'm, I was talking about like home preservation, home food preservation. All controls have been shorted out. You know, not like commercially you can find all, but I mean what people do at home. Like we we do all of that. Sometimes the same family does uses different methods. It's I never thought about it. You know, as being regionally different. Wait, I could probably break this with my weapon. Wait, what do I have? Oh, that's just that's not a. Yeah, I keep forgetting that's my skinny thingy. Yeah. Yeah. So we have 80, 90 bullets in total is what he can carry. Isn't that crazy? Jill started with 40, 30 in the reserve. 
No handprints, but like I said, I'm not gonna really I'm mostly interested in items and files. Wait, should I read the manifest thingy? Flight plan, there you go. Flight plan, type of flight, I F R. What is that? Aircraft identification, E C six one seven seven. Type of aircraft aircraft aircraft. C dash one three oh six. What I didn't read that. Departure point. Redesil de Mon, what's that? Redesil de Mon? I don't know which. But I do know destination is Valcoin and Moki Airport. That's what's that? S Finland? I think that's Finland. Jessica, I need a hand. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, canning, yeah. I don't know how they do their canning at home, huh? Okay, okay, I didn't know that. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask about that actually. I didn't know that's a thing. You can make your own canned food. How do you? This cave is too cold. You should have worn your thermal underwear. <laughs> Even the game addresses that. Okay, so it's not just me. I forgot that. See, you came out like you're going to a party, Jessica. We're going against bioweapons. What were you thinking? What the fuck were you thinking? You weren't thinking at all, were you? You want me to think about everything. What's the word? Um... I heard it. Did you hear it? Um, what do you call that? The um, fashion choice. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said, Lupka. It's a fashion choice. It's not like she's not an agent. She thinks she's an agent, but look at that. I think yeah, you gotta. You got, but yeah, the way you seal it, you just you gotta. What's the word, man? Sterilize. You gotta sterilize the can, or it already comes pre-sterilized. It's like I'm shooting Sun Hill three dogs. So Lubka was onto something here. Ha 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 funny. Oh, couldn't you shoot it while I scan? Oh I scanned it, alright. But she can't finish a monster, that has to be me. Reload. Looks that way, doesn't it? Silver Lobo. Is there more of them? I like how calm he is about all of this. Yeah, we have to stop them before anyone gets hurt. Comrade Jessica. So calm, like, whoo. Cook the can or glass 10 minutes in water and it's... For glass, yeah, I didn't know you can do that with cans. See, I learned something new. Thank you, Carter. I had no idea people can make their own canned food at home. When they say canned food in movies, I always thought, you know, glass preserved, but you say canned because it's... We say... Because can, like, cans are, the word for can in Serbian, sorry, I'm glitching, I'm trying to listen, listen to the game, is uh, for, it's konzerva, but it's also like preserving something is to conservate, you know, konzervirati, so I guess that makes sense, I hope. So I gotta shoot it, in the, uh, they're gonna come from the other side, are they? Oh, you know what, fuck it. Or not, they're gonna come from this side, I guess. Right, there you go. Damn, you can actually sh one-shot them? Where were you with this information minutes ago? What, I'm scanning here. That's a big boy. There you go. So it's like double action. Fight, but also scan. What do you mean not found? Ow! I'm scanning here! And I, sh I gotta refresh myself with my axe body spray. Oh, It's minty fresh. Ooh! The movement is so weird. It's like, am I running or am I just light jogging? And these attacks are so annoying. They reach so far. It jumps through the air like, like a super dog. Was this where we were supposed to go? No, that's where we came from, is there? No, I'm I'm confused. Which one is the real me? Yeah, that's... I think we can climb back, that's right. Yeah, yeah, for cans. I know for, I know for you know, the, the ways to sterilize glass jars, but for cans, I can't even... How do you close a can? There's got to be a special device that does that, right? 
Here we are. That's that's how exciting the game is. We're talking about preserving food. It is a more yummy topic, if nothing else. It's gonna be more of them here. I'm pretty sure. Are there any handprints? He's moving so weird. Look at this. Look at this diagonal movement. Look at his legs and the floor. Just moonwalking. What the hell? Hey, that works. So somewhere here there's an item. There it is. Green herb. There you go. We're good. We're going to be good with health. Oh yeah, that's that's true, Delmar. I'm not gonna lie. That is completely true. I w <laughs> you can't do both. You gotta pick pick. You know, scanning or this. And I want to scan because you know, first time I played, I didn't know how tough the game will be. But then now that I played it, the only issue I ever had was with uh, with that first mate boss. Wait, there you go. I I dodged. I didn't even mean to dodge. I just did it. Oh, they just disappear. I hate that. Let me scan. Let her shoot. And I'll scan. Nothing there. I see some grenades over there, though. Do I have grenades? No. Look at this. Walk. Waka chaka cha. Waka chaka ba. Waka chaka baka chaka. Waka chaka ba. I don't know. That's Chris's new theme song. Look at this movement. I never noticed this before, so it's interesting. With some grenade devices. <clears throat> Pardon me, just a sec. It's time. La, not really. <laughs> yeah, aiming is weird. You can see it even though you're not, even though you're not playing. You can see it's like. B O W decoy. I mean B O W decoy. A grenade type sub weapon. Once it hits the ground, it lets out a unique sound that lures in surrounding enemies and then explodes, taking out everything in the vicinity. Very effective if used correctly. Which is a very interesting weapon. It's a very special device. Turns the can over and over, and a metal finger forces the side of the lid flat until it is sealed. Yeah, welding. Okay, that's what I thought. So it welds it literally. Okay, okay. Damn, I gotta. I, I really want to know more about that. That's impressive, I gotta say. So here comes the really, really tiring part for my memory. It could be much easier this time, but who knows. Hiya! Oh no, it's, it's not yet. Scanning! Ow! How about... There you go. I can scan in peace. There you go, all the scans, Morty. Okay, use herb. Let's do that one more time. There you go, we got free herb. Ow, 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 ow. I'll let her shoot and I'll just collect free herbs, I guess. I, you know, it's one thing that I'm missing, but... A completely other thing that the wolf is just like, you know what, he's not shooting really good. I'm just going to ignore him, let him go. Back to full ammo. Right, let's find that sneaky item. Da -da 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 -da. Nice, decoy. All right, just use them. Don't save ammo in this game. It wasn't made... made as one of those games where you actually save ammo. I will save shotgun ammo for when, you know, more shit hits the fan. But other than that... I believe in your powers of food uh, appreciation, Carter. I'll never forget the Soul Reaver episode that was, in my memory, like... So recently when I played the Dreamcast port I told you about that I wanted, you know, to marvel at. 
when I, when I came to Duma's territory, I immediately I remembered how my sisters Ljubka and Anna gave you a <laughs> transferred over the Serbian bean soup recipe, which I until that moment I didn't realize you would call it bean soup, right? We just call it beans. Jill, was it? Was what? Was what? <laughs> <laughs> she was your partner before, right? Yeah, and she knew how to dress for a mission, what about it? at least for a while. Well, totally and un conspicuous. It, like nothing strange about that right there. We're not gonna s even talk about it again. Just randomly, imagine someone going, "Yeah, you know, Robert. Robert was it? Was what? Robert? You knew Robert before, did you? I'm not jealous. Who says I'm jealous? I'm not jealous. Four out of thirty. Yes, jumping down is the only option. Hiya. It's still not the part I'm thinking of. Wait, wait, let's stab some boxes. Oh, oh, I'm full. Two decoys. All right, let's heal, I guess. Oh, I can't even heal. I'm full health. All right. Stab. Nope. Yeah, this is the part. Okay, this is where it's going to happen. This crevasse. In this... Well, quite a big crevasse you got there, game. Preservation Appreciation Society. <laughs> nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Carter. It's one of my favorite meals. Yeah, yeah that's the part. Can I use the... I think I can still use this shit. Can't use the shotgun now. Can't scan, so pretty focused here now. Where are they? Hold on, I'll be right there. For a while. Is there a timer on injuries like this? On Shit. How about my front? Which is what I'm seem to have been, be having issues with. Just two hits per per dog, alright. Is there a good time for this? Oh jeez, you, you cheated on me. There you go. You cheated me, not on me. I have no previous relationship with these dogs, I swear. What are they? Silver Lobo? That's Final Fantasy VI. Ow! Oops. Goodbye, face. How do they even use the herb? It just happens. No, not here, not here. I'm gonna blow myself up. Did I just bounce off of him? Alright, guess I'm not hurt by it. There you go. That always attracts. Thank God, Jessica. We done? No, still more. Ow! They're not even trying to eat me, they're just poking me like little trolls they are. Help me! Can you stand? And that's all he needed. That's all he needed. Like he just—how stupid can this be? Bring this up again, but bring what up? Do you trust me as much as Jill? And immediately with this. No need to compare. I trust you both. Besides, trust is built through actions, not words. I'm gonna agree with you for that's once, so Chris. But you, Chris. it's always about the job. It's no, that's how human trust works. Unless you know you're a kindergarten or preschooler. And then you believe everything that's said to you. you. It's built on actions. That's just how it works. How how forced was that, huh? Does, does anybody else feel a little cringy? Because for me, it's like my cringe muscles are just nudging. Whenever she opens her mouth. 
Dry white beans need to cook two hours in water properly, soften them up. Did I tell you? I think we told you we do it twice. So we boil them once, then we strain them. We, we throw away the first batch of water because, you know, we want to reduce the gases. Then we we boil them again in the second water. We call it first and second water. And the second water is what we use for, you know, finally eating them. Feel it, bro. Who? I don't know who that is. Adan? Adan! Scanny scan? Oh, my, my finger's gonna be on this button forever now. I can climb, I can do everything now. What was that just before? What was the point of that? Just to show us that Chris is just a man and he can't do everything by himself? Well, not two hours. You cook it. So, the, no, the first cooking is about 30 minutes, basically. You let it boil for a few minutes. And after it starts boiling, you let it boil for a few minutes. Sasha will chime in and correct me if I'm wrong. but Because, uh, you know, it depends again on household. But it, on, on average, that's how you do it. You boil it for a few minutes. Then you strain it. Then you cook it again for as long as you want, you know, depending on how soft you want it to be. But you want to cook it a long time because it's beans. I'm sure you know that. They, ha You know, you want them as cooked as possible. Is that the airstrip? That's their hideout. How did he get... How did he... Did someone tell him this? Because he keeps saying things that are, aren't mentioned before. It sounds like we know them already. Was that in the briefing? This is Fort Ball. Do you read? Yeah, Chris you know. Here. I read you, sir. Are you all right? Where are you? The interference here killed our signals. We're at Valcoin and Mock Airport. Look at his beard and his forearms are naked. What do you mean? Just bare. I sent Jill and Parker to the Mediterranean on faulty intel, and now I've lost contact with them. I haven't heard from them since. How? What's going on? Chris, you better look at this. It's impossible. A flag on this? It's moving on this cold? Found the Veltro crest. Defying? Then stories of their resurrection are true. If that's the case, then... Then the setup that got Jill and Parker. It was all... Yeah, I'd almost guarantee... Wait, it. like this plot I looks mysterious? Jill and Parker. But it's gonna be so problem. stupid later. Not at all. Make your way to the Mediterranean and we'll keep... Make your way to the Mediterranean. He, like he said, hop on over, get some bread for me from the bakery. Well, around the corner. We'll sort it out later. I'm not gonna update you in this situation because that would be what you know decent agents do. I ain't gonna do that. Why would I do that? Uh, yeah, there you go. Sasha does two waters, two shorter waters. Uh, some people do one 30 minute, you know, boil and then two hours. So, yeah, go cook, my son. What was that? I didn't even get to read it. Was it was it an ad? Was it <laughs> was it a was it a sponsor? Uh all right, save. Go my son, cook. <laughs> ah next please. So I did save, yeah, I'm never sure. Because you gotta go back the same route. And I'm like, did I save? Yeah, I just I just I just saved. You can dodge while reloading. <laughs> uh, so okay, it was an ad. We don't take kindly to ads around these parts. They set her nice and, you know, they set her on the bed. Gave her good lodgings. Jill. Parker. Where are you? I don't know. A room, I think. Somewhere on the ship. Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? 
No, comms are out, it seems. We should regroup. No, can't explore that. It's still on. Yeah, I can tell. Ding dong. They didn't take my... Where am I? They didn't take my... Um... Oh, they did take my scanner. Bastards. I think it's locked. Maybe it's just not opening because it's one of those unopenable doors. Screwed in pretty tight. Yeah, there's going to be a screwdriver and Bioshock pipe puzzle section. I see a lot of games in here that aren't Resident Evil, honestly. That's what makes it so weird. Carter, I was going to say, it's always great, you know, relying on your old self. Ooh, an herb. Just one. Okay. Looks like it's been broken for a while. Oh, the screwdriver. It's filled with dirty water. There might be something at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Are you one all over again? I was thinking, like, what can... Yeah. It's rusted. But nothing there. <laughs> Damn, that guy. Screwdriver. There's bl dried blood on it. How is there still running water? I know it's a ship, but, you know... Can't be running still, can it? Where's my key item? Screwdriver. A Phillips head screwdriver. Oh shit. Pressing upward or backward with plus A with the right timing right before an enemy text will... I think it's just without A, but... Tripster! <laughs> Robot house! Wait, what do I do? Should I... Is it dodging? Why would I just dodge? What about going just here? Will this solve anything? Can I hide in the tub? Should you even press both? I kind of remember not having to press both. Or something like push him somewhere. Oh, that didn't work. I got smacked. How about using this, huh? No time for that. I should... I know it's something like trick him. Get the TV on him or... I think I should dodge near... Yeah, I should dodge near the TV. That's right. There you go. He dead. I don't know, they got bored of them around RE4 and just started introducing these new enemy types. Ganados, uh, I forgot what was there. Magini in RE5. Like, truth be told, there's going to be zombies in RE6 and a good chunk of RE6 is going to be set in Serbia, so that's going to be fun. Very fun to talk about all the enemy names, what they mean in Serbian and all that. But man, it's still a long way to RE6. There's like four games between RE5 and RE6. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh yeah, it's still not good, so we gotta do that. Well, maybe I need to do... Yeah, there you go. Bye. So now it's just dodge, 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 right? Ponte. Should be able to get to the bridge through here. Great, a padlock. And I can't do anything without my knife. My oh shit. Oh shit. I thought I would dodge by just pressing forward, but nope. Jill, you can't fight without a weapon. Just do your best to dodge. No shit, man. Can't fight without a weapon. I'll do my best to dodge, but you know, I'm not really good with this dodge, I won't lie. Toilet. We don't want toilet. We'll be back. Toilet. 
This isn't where I came from, is it? No. I should just get to a certain room. There we go. Shotgun. That would be useful. There's a place to insert something. Nope. Not where I want to be right now. <laughs> Hello, Boundy. Hello. Welcome. How you doing? How's your day going? So my that's all the ammo I can carry, huh? Something is settling about the waves. What? Share it. Just show. Don't tell. You can't even see outside, you liar. I don't see it. Whatever she says, I don't see it. I gotta survive all this by dodging so far. Avoid whatever I can and just run, run, run. Alright, I gotta get downstairs, isn't that right? <laughs> hey, a, a wise person taught me, always rest when you're tired. There's another anchor door. And they were right. Sometimes they thought, man, you gotta work. You know, you gotta do shit, how can you rest? But, you know, you do shit better if, if you can rest. If you have the ability, of course, to rest. You can't really rest if you're a pilot. You should rest before, but yeah. <laughs> Helm mark, alright. There was, yeah, there's a handprint on this turkey, no, I remember. No, I won't. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, hello, Parker. Are you okay? I'm fine, but the ship's crawling with BOWs. Okay, we're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. We should be okay as long as we work together. But push them together? You gotta open doors one after another. How silly is that? You can't hold the door? Wait, there are more creatures this way. Card reader. I found this though. Think we can use it? Oh, now yeah, you tell me. It just might do the trick. Try to avoid whatever we don't have to find. Oh shit. I really tried hard to dodge. I want to do that dodge better. I'm trying to figure out what's the right timing to do it. I'll try. I just... Too bad I can't dodge for shit. Oh. So earlier, I guess? For science! It's okay if I die. I'm used to it. Hiya! Die, please! Oh, gee. It looks like there was something else. Alright, I can't go there. Wait, can I? Lock from the other side. Oh, yeah, upgrade. Oh, I'm dying, Parker. Can you spray me or something? Oh, it's one of those doors that only two people, when they kick him, can open them. She did live a good life. It's true. So we gotta pick up the weapons. Retrieved stolen equipment. Alright, now we go into... Where, where are the five herbs I had, huh? How about that? Are we not gonna talk about the five herbs? Grenades and lures. Let's add some custom parts. Switch screens and change. Okay. Custom parts damage one. Do it. So this isn't a new game plus, which means I'll start with like just a regular start. M92F. 
but you have multiple weapons and they're all pistols so you know there's no point in putting another pistol in there they're different though which one do i want i would i would go with the ah uh, but hers has more sh hers is the most balanced so i'll go with that but you gotta press x god damn it <laughs> live the good lie yeah i live the good lie i live a good lie i live in this century wait wait it said four didn't it Jill Samurai Edge. Oh, there you go. Lower capacity. Standard weapon issued to members of stars. Made smaller for easier use. The medallion on the grip is a special light blue. How does that help me with the f with the paddle? Oh, I back monsters. I got a blue medallion. <laughs> what? I guess that's like lore. So she can put four upgrades on that. I guess. We got 10 less damage, but two more bullets. <laughs> My whole life has been a duck. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna go with uh, Samurai Edge, huh? Well, for now, I'll leave this. When I have four upgrades, I'll think about it. Expensive parts and made small and light with higher accuracy. Where does it say that? I don't know. Let's upgrade this one. Just damage, right? 165. Yeah, let's do it like that for now. It makes more sense. Why would I have lower damage? Because Th this one made smaller for easier use. Does that affect anything in the game? Or are you just saying words? What am I even doing? Is there more items? Yeah, there are. There are, there are more items. <laughs> qua qua. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> in, in English. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how that must sound to, to English speaking word world when you say qua qua. It makes perfect sense to us. Now we contact HQ and tell them what the hell is going on. We do? Head for the bridge, which is where? Like quack quack, but like when you say quack quack, it sounds yeah, but that sounds it's interesting because I know immediately what you what you mean. But what does it look like? Like you're like you're speaking in tongues. I just say words all the time. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just open my mouth and shit comes out. Wait. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, sure. Senpai would be proud of me for that statement. Myself though. Would probably also be proud for that statement. We should probably go back and scan whatever we can. Because, you, yes, you can go further. Oh, I'm gonna die. Am I? Oh, there you go. I dodged. I didn't even try to dodge. How the fuck does this even work? Ah! Alright, so dodge is just forward. You don't need A. They lied to me. You just move when they're about to sh to hit you and that's it. That's the whole dodge. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. It means a lot to me. He's like a brother I never had. <laughs> hand grenade. Alright, so we got more hand grenades now. So this is where Parker was, right? That's what he said. And he did the same thing. Or something similar. He tricked him to, to stick it in the fridge, I guess? I don't know. Senpai. -er. No, I, I meant Senpai. <laughs> for the next name change. Until I settle on something that I really like. Huh, Carter? No, it's Senpai. Our dear friend Senpai. Why does it have to go zoom so much? Look, I can kind of see the room. It's already zoomed in because it's for a portable console. But then, but then you do this. Like, what the hell is this? It's like I'm, I'm exploring shit this close. It's just, it bothers me a lot. I'm not going to lie. This bothered me the entire game. Just zoom the shit out. My phone does better. And it should be, you know, cheaper tech than whatever the super bullshit agency agents are working with. If there's a handprint, it'll be 
on it will never be found he also did the same puzzle i guess you'd think this is a two-player co-op game because it plays like one but no it's not Lock from the other side, that's right. I gotta go every few steps, do this shit. Oh wait, this is a great... Oh shit. It hurt me too, I guess. There you go, and there's an item somewhere. Why am I drunk and when aiming? Oh, he died quickly because of the explosion. I think he has a bit of crush. I told myself I would accept him for his homosexual lifestyle. So I would slowly put the spork away. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we do understand each other. On a... Oh, gee. Fuck you. On a certain level. All right. I guess his bullets don't work. Oh, I kill it with a knife. Alright, that works for something. <laughs> put the pork away. <laughs> no, never put the pork away. Pork should always be attended to. Green herb, nice, alright. Uh I guess this game has a good tempo where I can follow both the chat and... Oh, wait. Forward. Run. It hurt them a little bit, at least. You get more points if you scan them. Um, no, not that. If you scan them while they're... Alive. But, you know. So it's on the other... Wait, there's more here, huh? What am I missing? And where? <laughs> Put the spork down slowly. Why am I drunk? If you have to ask that question, it means... It was a very awesome last night. And the newspaper might answer your question. <laughs> that's one way. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one solution to that puzzle. Well, one very interesting solution. I found it. Where's the other item? I guess there's a book to read. Here we go, a file. The first file, the first actual file we're going to read, the first story file, the first ship file we're going to read in this uh, game is a file from Resident Evil 1. That's just... This says it a lot. I don't even have to say much. This, this says a lot. Both botany, plants with medicinal properties. Third edition, though, this is the third edition. Maybe they updated it. Humans have been using plants to heal wounds and cure diseases ever since ancient times. An example of one of these types of plants is an herb that grows wild in the Arclay Mountain area. Because fucking center of the universe, Arclay Mountains and Raccoon City. You know, everything that's happened is happening there. Either there or, you know, mostly there, but then we go into other locations from the R universe. The bright green herb not only heals fatigue, but it also helps to strengthen the natural healing process so that wounds heal faster. What So, what this told me is every time you use a green herb in this game, it should, it should boost your overall stamina, right? At least a little. But I, I don't remember finding any info supporting that. So, it's really, it's misleading, you know. It sounds like, you know, it helps speed up the future healing, but... Or is it trying to tell me to just rub the aloe vera on your neck like, or, or your elbow and you're good? It's just going to heal. The bullet wound, the bite wound, just going to close. There's a lot of room inside a mountain. That's not wrong. <laughs> I need to rub some green herb on my heart. I, should I even laugh at that? I'm going to laugh. At, I'm, I'm going to laugh because I should laugh. Yeah, right? I don't know. Tell me how should I feel about that sentence. I'm thinking about the mountain one as well. Because, because you know, if they wanted... <laughs> what if what if the entire universe is inside the Arkley Mountain, you know? 
<laughs> herb. Herb. I'm sorry. Herb. Uh, all right. Let's move on. The bright green addition. It's a, in addition, it has an active immune function that can extremely can be extremely useful against viral infection. Where did all this come from? There was blue, red, blue, green herbs. Now it's like one herb to rule them all, I guess. The medical applications are vast, and they are already starting to be used in the field. Please consider supplying yourselves with these herbs in order to protect in order to protect yourself and your family from the recent threat of bioterrorism. It just sounds like someone's engineering these, you know, to to get cash. Oh, there we go. Something above me. There we go. We found it. I found it. Custom parts, nice. I could go back and install them right away instead of, you know... You can't install them anywhere. You gotta go to this weapon room and do it there. Which game? Which game has that? I'm thinking. I've seen quite a few typos because I've been paying attention a lot in this marathon. I'm playing a lot of Resident Evil games next to each other for, mo for the most part. So I've seen, we've seen hairs, fire rate, sure, you know what, speed it up, for now. Yeah, there you go. So it's like, the speed is like the Samurai ed Edge now, but it's stronger, 25 more damage, so we'll see. More ammo? Yeah. Was there more ammo here? I don't remember. I don't think so. Was that ammo? That look no, nope, that's just a just a lamp. Maybe an RE1, yeah. So different versions of RE1, Director's Cut, the original, Dual Shock Edition, they all have different typos. Whenever the text was revised. And sometimes like was the case with RE0. Um, the initial edition, the first edition, the first revision has a, a mistranslation of mi mirror and shield but then in the in the re like, not release in second like revision on gamecube that was fixed but then when they ported it to the modern systems they used the first revision so the error is back there and it was never fixed so it says you know it says i think it says mirror instead of shield or suit of armor because it's the same word in japanese no, this is Jill Valentine, believe it or not, Carter. This is Jill Valentine. I know, it's hard to believe. I'm trying to figure out how to do that melee... melee attack, but... they're just focusing on me, like Parker is non-existent here. They don't care about Parker, they just want Jill. <laughs> Fixing typos is cheating. Yeah, I see that... I see that it affected you. <laughs> This is Jill just before RE5, I think. Well, they say it's Jill. I, I've never accepted it. It's Nina Williams in her, you know, when Dead by Degrees didn't work well for Nina, she was like, you know what? I'm just going to name this one Resident Evil. It's going to sell better. Nobody wanted Dead by Degrees. I never finished that game. Really wanted to. I can see why you see that. Yeah, I can see why you th say that, yeah. It's more obvious in RE5 where I come with the Nina Williams reference, but yeah. Nina Williams from Tekken, if, if, if it doesn't make sense to someone. Let's scan, scan, a scan, scan. We can scan. All the scam. Aha! Uh -huh. Man, what a Resident Evil game, huh? Huh? I want uh, either when it's 2 2. We found the turkey handprint. Dressier version, yeah. She's at least. Wait, wait till you see Jessica in her full attire. You're gonna see what. Was there another one? No, just one. Alright. Okay. At least they're attacking part. Oh, what the fuck? Where did the other one come from? From the vent? Wow. Okay. Run. Hacha. It just exploded. All right. Don't even. 
Parker, you good, man? Gotta watch my back now. They 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 wanna. They do wanna spawn from behind. I don't know what their intention was to, but they wanted to make the games and characters more cool, I guess. More cool. Because the movies were doing well, and for a while they tried to emulate that. God knows why the movies were going well, but actually we know why. I think I know why. I talked about this. when they, Whenever the media says, oh, oh the, fa the fans will you know, appreciate this movie, the fans will love it, but no one else. It's not the fans of, the, of Resident Evil who went to see those movies. It was the casual moviegoers who wanted an action movie. When, you know, while waiting for a new Fast and Furious or whatever. Like, I, I can't imagine anyone who's a Resident Evil fan going, yeah, yeah, going, you know, the sixth RE movie, being all enthusiastic about it, going, yeah, man, this is what we wanted. Yeah, but the media makes it out, you know, the fans will appreciate this. No, we won't. It's the other people who will appreciate it, I guess. Not even them, they're just watching it because there's nothing better. Oh, that wasn't a dodge, but I guess it counts as one. Well. There's got to be a way to melee. I know there was like... Wait. It was in one of those tutorial files, wasn't it? There we go. The full ship map on her somehow. With her gizmo, I guess. So this is where we started. We went this far. This is where they caught us in the first episode. Of the game, not the stream, and then we ended up in this side of the ship. Where, where, where are we now? Upper cabins, lower cabins. All right. Yeah, we'd have. I mean, of course, especially for something like that that didn't have. I guess I'd have to see it, though. You know, I wouldn't have too high hopes about it. How about you focus on the guy that's in front of you and ignore? The person who's not even there. I wanted to see how to do the melee. That's what I was going for. So play manual. So health recovery. Evade. Okay, physical attack. You can use a physical attack when you're near a staggering enemy when A is displayed on the screen. Hold A to charge up. Yeah. You gotta remember how to do that though. Uh, they staggered a few times, but it didn't didn't seem like I could do anything. How about here? What was here again? I think this is where it's going to switch maps from one to another. Let's check this area first. I think it's like, yeah, it's just one room. Or is it the room where I started? Yeah? No, it's the room where we saw the shotgun. You hear that, right? All right, here we go. Hydrate and stretch. Is that a that's like an RE one, the Remington, um, or something like it? Ooh. This is really good. It's like she makes a lemon juice with orange juice, but you know, freshly squeezed, so it's amazing. Try not to, try not to destroy everything around you. Mmm, so posh. Ah, the hydration for my brain. Well, it's good for my body, that's for sure. Yeah, it's good when you mix them. I like what we call here a mixed, I think we call it mixed fruit. Yeah, fruit mix with sage, you know. Yeah, just actually, in restaurants, you just if you want to order a mix of uh, lemon, orange, and uh, and grapefruit, you say squeezed fruit. That's what it's just called, squeezed fruit. That 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 means all three of them. So wait, is this? No, I wanted to go here. It's a little confusing. Was that, or is this where? No. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. This way, actually. Because once you switch the map, it stays switched, so to say. 
card reader, all right? But is there an item? No. No handprint either. But who can who can tell when it's right in my face? It's so annoying. Holy shit, it's the claw guy. Oh shit, should have turned earlier. Kick him in the nuts. Oh. Let's scan him too. I will want help from them. Oh no, he can actually kill me. A lot. Reload. I guess I gotta shoot the claw hands. It's so, like, what's scary? They're so slow and... I'm supposed to be scared here, but it's more like annoyance. Oh, I thought I scanned them both, but there you go. Kick him while he's down, <laughs> yeah. How could they, again, they get, they've put such a ridiculous big ass on such tiny frame, yeah. Well, it is, it is, um, it was, um, what is it called? Like, a, a, not a mobile, a handheld game. So it came out on Nintendo 3DS first. 3DS. But yeah, I guess that's why. Let's refresh. Maybe this is where I remember that handprint from. Something's gonna get out of somewhere. It's, it's Parker making those noises. I keep calling him Carter. Oh, there it is. I guess I dodged that. No, he helped me, actually. There you go. Shoot it in the arm. Oops. He's gonna go for me, is it? There you go. Just unintentional dodges. You just move around and you dodge. That's how dodging works in this game, apparently. His bullets don't mean shit. Oh, it's dead. I really want to do that. I really want to do that uh, melee attack, but it's not going well. Can't remember how. I remember first time, when I first played through, by this time I already did it. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I don't know what's up with Capcom and asses. Maybe that's just the artifact of the camera. Who knows? The camera is a little too close, isn't it? It's like right in your face. Which makes sense on a handheld console. But man, it's just... Especially this. Look how close it is. I remember... That's That's... That's one detail I remember vividly, being annoyed all the time at how close this is. I'm supposed to s investigate and scan shit, but I gotta move around and make sure I'm far away from everything. Did I come? Hi, love. How you doing? Can you turn on the AC? It's getting a little hot. Wasn't there... Where did I come from? The stairs or... Oh, shit, I forgot now. I guess this way. There you go. First scan. Stagger it, stagger it. There you go. But no, that doesn't work for me somehow. Wasn't, shouldn't there be a... A, a melee con When that happens, I should do it. But I think they, they, they're supposed to be very close for that to work. And I'm already hurt. Alright, I got four herbs. It's not that it matters. It's just a personal peeve. It's a little annoying for me. I really want to do that. There's my room. Let's go kill the guy in my room. Carter says hi, love. Let's just stab it. I guess that counts as something. I'm already bloody. How silly is that? There it is. 6 out of 30. If I ever get the sudden urge to 100% this, I'm honestly gonna use a guide. <laughs> Padlock. <laughs> In form of food. Hiya! I mean, it's good. I can't hear well though. I have to boost the game volume. 
What's this? Anchor door? Helm mark, okay. That's not an anchor. What about this? 303. No, not gonna talk about 303. I guess that part's not important. Because you're learning about them and, you know, it helps with making antiviral agents, which is just like, when, whenever you get to 100% scan, you get a green herb. That's it. It's not even that deep. It's not like in Yubka, so you never saw... Um... Alright, zombie, let's come back to that. You never saw Metroid Prime, I think. The 3D Metroid games, which you have something like this, but it's for a different purpose. You scan everything around you. You scan enemies to learn their weaknesses. You scan doors, fucking chairs, whatever there is. Whatever can serve you something. It's like you're reading files in RE. But they went this way in, in this Resident Evil and just... I don't know, I just really find it odd. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, zombie. Yeah, every fucking enemy. See, that's the thing, right? You're right. In Metroid, once you scan a certain enemy, you've scanned it. You scan, you know, a certain type of enemy. You scan that type, you know about it. You can go back to your logbook to read about it. It's more in-depth. Here, it's just a cheap gimmick, honestly. Shoot both... Shoot the, both of their arms off to daze them. How how will I know when they're dazed, zombie? Will they look different, I think? I remember, like, doing it in the beginning of the game. But now I can't seem to do it. So I pick a floor. Lower cabins or bridge? I guess let's go bridge for now. Because that's where the story wants to go. But it's not really much... I'm not gonna miss anything or get anything by exploring sooner or later. Lower cabins, I think I'll just end up... We'll see on the map. Yeah, this is just busy work, that's right. Yeah, here it's every single enemy if you want the, the goodies that come with it, you know. Lower cabin, so we're right here. Yeah, I think this is just going to unlock the other side. There you go, yeah, that's all. We've been here. I guess this is caution, right? Because you don't even see the classic RE electrocardiogram, you know, EKG, ECG. It's just guess how bloody your screen is. I see why Lupka compares it more to Silent Hill. They looked dazed a few times, that's why I asked Zombie. They looked dazed a, f dazed a few times, but they weren't. I, I just approached for a slap, so it didn't... I didn't really do anything to them. So both arms. Mayo mentioned arms, so... Because it says here, what does it say again? Let's... We're learning, relearning, re even. Use a physical attack when you are near a staggering enemy when... It, okay. Yeah, nothing about that, about staggering them. Also, zombie, if you think I'm missing a file, yeah, tell me. You know, I want to read all the files. I'm not even sure if I'll find all the files in this game. Someone's been here. It's, they're not as obvious. There's items here, alright. See that yellow thing? It means there's items. There we go. One item. Parker's just scaring me at this point. You can only carry five green herbs. Did you find yourself? Yeah. He asked when I said you went to Greece. He asked, did she go to find herself? I laughed my ass off. <laughs> oh, gee. What happened? Oh, you made it. Yeah, it scared me. I didn't expect the sound. <laughs> so I, so far, I got a jump scare from two things that weren't game related. <laughs> yes, it was just Sasha doing stuff around the house. Because I expect something to happen in the game, but it doesn't. I remember it being severely underwhelming. Yeah, even Sasha knows. Sasha knows how I felt about this game. I was like, really? This is what you're going for? Everybody just... Everybody. A lot of people praised it as this big return to survival horror. Is this what we are afraid of? Like, too close cameras? Because that is scary. That shouldn't be a thing. I'm at the bridge. Okay, okay. So both arms. Not just one arm. Both arms. Thank you, zombie. I'll try that. 
hand grenade. That's all I have, all right? I think there's gonna be a handprint on one of the windows or something. Doesn't look like I can use this for communications. Oh, you're used to that, Jill. This one's fried, I guess. I'll try not to initiate the next thing, if I can. How scared are you of this close-up view? Because I'm very scared. <laughs> Can't see shit in front of my nose. Lock from the other side. Yeah. That's another thing. I hear a lot of critique that RE7 has one single enemy type here. Yeah, you get... You get... You get some variety, but it's mostly Ooze, Ooze people. What are they called? I forgot their name. The Swallowed. The Undertaken. The Underwhelming. I don't know. They had a weird name. What is this? A custom... Oh, handgun ammo case. There we go. Hand ammo case. Increases your ammo capacity. All right. But where does he where does she keep it if she has already limited you know 50 there you go she already has limited space for shit where does she keep the cases i guess on her butt there's the handprint yeah parker communication system is down we can't change our course we're completely adrift this is recent. The perpetrator can't be far. Perpetrator. I guess. Don't tell me that was the tugboat. Shit. I'm not gonna tell you. Jill. Oh, there you go. Even goofier. Yeah. Look at this guy. What the fuck is this shit? What is up with the hair? How, how am I supposed to take you guys seriously? Drop yours, Parker. Who the hell are you? Double mystery. Okay, episode two, end. Ass. I got ass again. I'm too blind to shoot in these games, apparently. My, my, my time has come. I'm old. Never again will I do the... The SS rank. Pronounce me like one of your French girls. Well... Sorry, was only half watching. Online friend got it. While driving. Oh man, why did I have to read that with a funny voice? Is he okay? Are they okay? You you missed a lot of goofiness, but man. Sorry to hear that, Carter. I'm sorry to read that with that voice. Sorry, Lupka. It was a really bad timing. I'm going to, I'm going to be smart, guys, and I'm going to end the episode here. Yeah. With the ass. With the ass. French, French, friends. It's okay. I owe you a French speak next time, Yupka. Should I go the Daniel route? Ha ha ha. We keep them horny for you. French, friends. French, friends. <laughs> Let's see who can raid. That was just. Yeah, I got scared. This is too scary. It's too close to my face. It made me all... What's the word? Uh, claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. Blah, blah. What can you... Let's raid Najuni. Najuni is playing a Resident Evil Resistance. Which is a very decent... Finally, I can, I can repay my... I can repay my loyalty to uh, Najuni. Bye. Guys, thank you for watching tonight. It's been a blast and it's going to get funnier. Trust me. This is just the start of This is just start of ridiculousness. It gets 
Holy shit, it gets funny. <clears throat> I gotta get ready for the next time, you know. Bye! Just take a deep breath and... Uh, get ready for... <laughs> and all that ensues, you know. But without, you know, being... Without being, you know... Funny... Oh, you have no idea. You haven't seen anything, Carter. Stick around, man. Next Tuesday... Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're doing this. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stick around and stick around that ass and you know you'll see more next Tuesday and then Thursday. Oh the raids the raids sorry the raids ready. Again, thanks for watching guys. Tune in Saturday. We're starting Borderlands Saturday morning our time here. Check out the schedule, it's all there. Thanks for watching again. Without further ado, see you soon. Bye and all that. Bye.